uh, in this video we will be doing the B part of my 16 P22 Q3 part B this, this is the question which we will be attempting and the question is Alif is a trader now once again I would request everybody please open this question in your deep note uh, in your past papers open your copies calculators pen and start writing this down I do and then I understand you need to do it you need to do it by your hand okay now uh, as in my previous video we have already made one income statement now we are going to make another income statement what we are going to do is I'm simply going to start with revenue which I have already calculated in part A or in my last videos and I have mentioned it and it is 60,250 after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate cost of goods sold or cost of sales or CGS I'm going to mention opening inventory and what is the value of my opening inventory whenever the question from incomplete records come he will always give you at least three pieces of information what are those three pieces of information summary of cash or bank account two and three is opening and closing balances opening and closing balances so from opening balances I am going to see what is the value of my inventory you see I will bring this near to you it says opening balances 1st April 2015 opening balances and 31st March 2016 closing balances now from the opening balances I am going to see the inventory which is 12,000 then I have purchases and my purchases are 27,200 and then what do I have? Do I have any purchase return? No, no, it, it wasn't given in any question. Then I have closing inventory and uh, closing inventory once again I am looking this from the figure the figures given that is 11,500 that's it the total cost of sales would be uh, 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 27,700 and I'm going to subtract this what do I have I have gross profit now you see the, these headings are really very important I'm just going to check my calculations with respect to uh, I'm going to cross check my figures and yes I'm right 32,950 and this was 27,700 now this is my gross profit after gross profit what do I need to write as I need to write other incomes other incomes in other incomes I have only one income I have only one income which is mentioned in the question with the heading of interest receivable in the summary of cash and bank he says he has given you summarized bank transaction and on the debit side it is written interest receivable that we have received interest which is interest receivable and uh, the amount is 600 the amount is 600 and when added to this I get 33,550 after this what I am going to do is I am going to less expenses now once again I am going to get expenses from the credit side of my bank statement or cash or summarized cash book or bank statement and with the help of opening and closing balances now what are the expenses what are the expenses he says other operating expenses first of all what do I have is I have other operating expenses do I have any opening and closing for this? No, I do not have. So I'm going to simply write 6500. What I'm going to write is 6500. After this, what do I have? I have wages. Okay. After this, what I have? I have rent. And my rent is with the working rent. And from these balances, I see that my rent is prepaid. What I am going to do is, I am going to make one rent account. Rent account. 
my rent is prepaid if my rent is prepaid it means that it is asset it is already mentioned that rent is prepaid prepaid rent means asset opening what is the value of opening asset it is 500 and the value of closing is 700 now whenever you are going to make any t count you must make the opening for the next month but this is what i am doing is it is in working this is in the working portion so that's why i'm not bringing down the balance of every t account or else you people whenever you are going to make any t account you have to bring down the balance and what i have done is i have paid rent how much rent i have paid i have paid eight thousand when i have paid rent what is the transaction rent being expense increasing expenses debited and I, I have paid through cash or bank my cash is credited decrease in asset so in rent account on debit side i'm going to mention bank which is 8000 8500 8500 and 700 is advance paid so 7800 will be charged to income statement i'm going to mention it 7800 same goes with the other transaction which is of wages now my wages are owing my wages are owing uh, or uh, instead of wages what i'm going to do is i'm going to do uh, the i'm going to prepare asset counts so you better understand the both counts are of same nature so you'll understand in this way i'm going to calculate my depreciation he says my equipment of the book value are eleven thousand asset opening is always on debit side and my closing is 10,500. 10,500. You see, the opening was 11,000, the closing is 10,500. It doesn't end over here. It says that you have also purchased equipment of 2,500. When you purchase any asset, increase in asset is debited. 2,500 bank. This figure is derived from the summary of cash and bank account. What do I have is I have 13,500, 13,500 and minus 10,500. What do I get is 3,000. Now you see this 3,000 is my depreciation. I had assets of 11,000. I have purchased more of 2,500. The total assets were of 13,500. But by the end of year, I only had 10,500. So where the difference of 3000 went, I have consumed it and that it is transferred to the depreciation. And now finally, the third account of, I should mention over here, depreciation, working to, the depreciation is of uh, 3000. And then I have wages. Now wages, what, what in wages? Wages are, wages are, Owing, uh, yes, he says which is owing. Owing means it is liability. I'll write it opening on the credit side of 300 and then my closing wages are 450. My closing wages are 450 and throughout the year I have paid wages of 9000. How many wages have I paid? 9000. 9000 bank of cash so it's 9450 9450 minus 300 9150 it will be transferred to income statement you see all the three balancing figures are on credit side credit side credit side and all three are the expenses transferred to income statement which is which is from working three uh, I have 9150 let me cross check if any expense is still left or is overseen or I have not mentioned it. No, that's it. Uh, yes, I do have 7800, 9150 and 3000. And the total for these are 26450. 26450 and I'm going to subtract this and what I get is 7100. 7100. This is profit for the year profit for the year thank you this was uh, summer 16 my 16 p22 or do one q3 part b the next one is how to prepare the balance sheet 
uh, the sorry the how to prepare the statement of financial position we need to be you know well equipped with the updated terminologies thank you very much